Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. When it comes to news, let's just say there's manure and then there is just pure BS. The latest news is that teenagers are all staying at home because they have nothing better to do. Oh, yeah, like that's a reason for a teenager to stay home? It may have to do with something else. Well, for now, we're going to bring all the cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah, if you listen to the people, I mean, if you listen to the press, that Obama has them on the run. I mean, everybody is demanding Obamacare. Everyone is extremely pleased with the Obama website. Everyone in foreign countries are, are cheering the, you know, that the United States is, is uh, snooping on every major country in the world. And, oh, well, actually, the Democrats are in the trouble this time. <laughs> Boy, are they For what? They, they're, they're blaming all this on the Democratic Party. Why? Because they uh, basically they blindly followed Barack Obama, and they're paying for it now. Well, that's not news. But don't worry, they they were trying to blame it all on George Bush and the Republicans again, but that's not working. Let the latest being, Republican senator to the fa face to face with the president of the United States called him a damn nigger. Only problem is the president has never even been in the same room other than the. Uh, the State of the Union with the senator, they did it. Now the senators are battling. Well, Harry Reid told me this. No, Dick Durbin made it up. Harry Reid told me this. Dick Durbin made it up. I, 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 we apologize to the Republicans for doing No, Harry Reid did it. Everybody know Harry Reid did it and got caught this time. And Democrats hold firm on Obamacare website, no matter how much it costs to fix or how long it takes to fix. It, Come on, people! It's because the whole Obamacare is... Okay, here's what it was said. Rand Paul said yesterday, he said, I told you people, if you'd have held firm, it would have been over because you'd have cut the funding for the website. When the website's funding was cut, the whole program crashed like a house of cards yeah. because they admit, the Democrats have admitted that they cannot have that site down for even a short time because the whole Obamacare system is built on gathering all this information online mm -hmm. and and, uh, and it's not happening. This morning, I mean, I'm listening to the people on the left with Karen Sabutis. Well, the site is up and working and people are very happy. The site hasn't been up for 42 hours. The site is basically, the, the site isn't up and working. It's been down for at least 42 hours and I expect to be up till next. Well, the people are telling us how much they like the information. Their site is not working. I mean, they got, okay, what happened is the Obama. They have their talking heads. They have these talking, talking points. points and they will not vary from them. Yeah, well, they're, the Democrats are after Sebelius' head yesterday saying, I don't work for those people that don't support the President Obamacare. Um, yes, she does. Yes, yeah, she does. Yes, she does. She was they, an elected they, um, official. They said the president, this time the president, they said called her on the carpet and said that was, you know, she lost her temper, just like he does, but she said it to liberal reporters who have done nothing but jump all over the fact, uh, I don't work for her, that woman works for me. Mm -hmm. I don't like her saying that I, you know, you know, up yours people, you do what I want, and it, she looks like an arrogant snob to begin with and then to go it just it, this was her defining moment like it like they what's it matter now with uh, that's past history with Hillary Clinton everybody is hitting her trying to get uh, well she says I lost my uh, my uh, you know I lost my train of thought and I misspoke she spoke exactly what she meant they don't think they work for the American people they think the American people do their bidding in the White House, so. And NATO had expressed its concern about Turkey's Chinese missile deal. Yeah, because what happens is the Turks are make the Turks are 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 part of NATO, and they're getting equip they're getting heavy duty equipment from the Chinese who don't like NATO, which means they're getting ready to drop NATO to go to China. And Justice to seek Obama administration views in medical device case. Uh, yeah, because Obama is putting. Uh, here's one. The largest medical device maker in the United States is basically uh, pulling up shop and leaving the country because there is no money. They can't afford to produce medical devices under Obama's new law. 1,600 people are going to lose their jobs this next month because of Obamacare and his taxes. And they're filing, uh, businesses are filing suit in the Supreme Court and they want to know how Obama got to his conclusion that these people shouldn't be... Um, you know, treated like anybody else. Well, they're businessmen. That's the whole bit.
And California cops mistake and fatal shooting a boy and folded in seconds. Yeah, I saw that. The kid trick-or-treating and they shot a trick-or-treater. What? They said that uh, they told him to put his gun down twice and he didn't. Uh, kid doesn't hear. Oh my so god. So he just kept walking and the officer shot him in the back. Yeah, they, the father said, I want their, okay, the, they said the police department, oh, they, 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 all they saw was a, a kid with, a, he said it's got an orange tip on the gun. It's a, it means it doesn't, the orange tip denotes it as a fake gun. And the officer, they said the officer just killed him because they wanted to. That's what the father said. And he wants their heads. Well, the police officer association, well, we don't condone shooting children. But the officer had no way of knowing that it wasn't a real gun. It had an orange tip on yeah, it. Yeah, that's why it has an orange tip. It's to keep police officers from doing. He said they did it. Um, he didn't respond. For, you know, he said uh, they said under the situation with all these other kids making noise, trick or treating, he wouldn't have heard them anyway. They just picked a kid that looked. He was dressed like he was a, a terrorist, which is a popular form. They just killed him. That's the way it works, folks. And U.S. Justice is scheduled to consider climate changes yeah, or well, change they, cases. Yeah, well, because the Obama administration just brings legislation after piece of legislation. They're trying to make an uh, enforce um, uh, climate change legislation by executive order and not through Congress. They have no authority. Only Congress can enact these laws, and he's doing it through the EPA and by executive order. And First of all, executive orders have no have no uh, force except on people doing business with the federal government. And second, the EPA can only uh, can only pass down uh, legislation that's already been uh, passed. They cannot originate legislation and enforce it. And basically, Obama has had his head handed to him for four straight years, and is likely to have continue to hand it to him because he has no authority to do any of the things. And VP Biden, country on cusp of mental health changes. Oh, they're so, not. Boy. What, what they're, kind of mental health changes? No, he, my uh, question. Basically, the, he um, there, he he thinks that that Obamacare is going to change things. No, because oh, the, is that what that was supposed uh, to be? Mental about? health problems are basically really, you know, if you got a mental problem, you're not going to be covered by Obamacare. You're not. No. Well, I thought Obamacare was no to Obamacare. Everything. Here's the way it works: is there will be two million more people that are uninsured than there were before Obamacare. People that have illnesses uh, that they do not consider to be relevant will not be covered under Obamacare. Mental health is one of those things that is not considered to be a valid illness under Obama's rules. Mm -hmm. And U.S. pivot to Asia gaining strength, Admiral. Okay, we got so many problems uh, around the world. They're now shifting our military might from the Middle East to Asia because they figure that they're going to have, okay, that what amounts is the Pakistanians are really pissed at America, the Muslims are basically pissed at America, the Chinese are pissed at America, the Japanese, just name it. And all those people on that side of the world are now likely to cause us problems. Mm -hmm. And Bobby Jindal, we're all frustrated with what's going on in D.C. Yeah, but it doesn't make any difference. They're not going to change the way they do business because while they want Congress changed, there's a 95% re-election rate of your own congressman because they're it, it, doing what we is. want them to do. That's right. And Muslim leader says Pope Francis resonates with the Muslim world. Because the guy's a left-wing socialist and he hates, he, hates, he hates the Christian religion and basically is a follower of Muhammad. What? The Pope Francis? Yep. Oh. Well, no well, he's, done, like he's one encyclical after another to punish people that basically um, do not support the Muslim way of life in the Catholic Church. What? Yeah, he's a short-term pope because they needed... Um, yeah. Th this guy is a businessman. He, he's trying to solve the problems that, that, that uh, the oh, church... Oh, yeah, because the church is having with the, the boys. Yeah. Right? Test for Saudis, how far to push ire over America. They're pissed off at this country. First of all, the Obama can't be trusted. They don't trust, first of all, hybrid people, which they consider Obama to be. You know, if you got a Caucasian mother or a Caucasian father, you are really lower class to those people. And he he's bugging everybody's um, communications. What? What? That's a surprise.
Uh, yeah, they just released NHA said they're what? The 35, thir they got 200, <laughs> they have 200 uh, phone numbers of 35 heads of state that they have been bu uh, bugging and they are mad. The Prince, the, uh, the, the England, the Queen of England, her family, the royal family in Saudi Arabia, all of these people have got, they're bugged. But you know what? It sure seems like Richard Nixon all over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except the press basically, uh, they said the difference between Nixon and right now is the press are willing conspirators in this and they're starting to get burnt by all of it. I know and they're feeling it. Yeah. Soviets conduct a nuclear blast at oil field to be tapped with China. Yeah, because that's the new way of doing uh, of exploration for oil. When they know the oil is down inside the rocks, they're going to set off a low grade nuclear explosion to open the ground up so that the oil can be gotten easier. In the United States, we call that shell work. Ooh, and MI5 chief says Islamist threat rising. Yeah, and it, that's every, he said as long as, he said as long as the United States have the, the president they do, the threats in the world are going to get worse. They all, the whole world, I mean, we have never seen a president that basically has alienated so many people as this guy, and he doesn't even realize he's doing it. He doesn't? No, he's above it all. They, I don't think they actually tell him that. He didn't realize that oh. Merkel was so unhappy until she personally called him on the red line. What? They can't get through he it. He had no right? clue. Here's what goes on. I heard this the other day that you can send material to the President of the United States that's important from heads of state or from the leadership in the House and Senate and it can it, it, it just gets filed because he never it never goes to him because he doesn't want to know about it. Oh, and U.S. Chinatown's risk of disappearance a study. Yeah, because it's happening more. Well, we know that first, but, you know. And you mean it's not just Los Angeles? No, it's all over the country because Chinatowns are vanishing as they're, they're actually, they're, they're spreading into like, um, in the excerpts, like a little, uh, little Saigon and things like that. Mm -hmm. And get ready to start shopping with Google Glass. No one's going to do that. I mean, it's most, it's got to be the most stupid. It's, it's banned from virtually every place you can think of. They don't want you wearing them in the businesses. They don't want you wearing them on the streets. They don't want you driving with them. So other than sitting at home, who well, you could use a computer to begin with, they're worthless. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, if you confess to committing the crime, there is no real reason to have a trial to prove that the person did what he confessed to. 